and welcome to Sound Holding is Not for Tigers. I'm Gabe, and I was just now informed that two people in our community have fallen victim to cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is very harmful in many ways. I am met with the cyberbullying experts to inform you about cyberbullying facts and ways to prevent it. Hello, we're setting up Tigers Tech Team. We are going to tell you about our project, Cyberbullying is Not for Tigers. What have you learned so far about cyberbullying? It's bullying online. It's rude. Me messages. It can be hurtful to others. Tell me about some of your projects that you all have completed so far about cyberbullying. We did infographics. We've done posters. We've done videos. Okay. What are some examples of cyberbullying in people's lives? Being texted, mean things. Mean comments when you make a video. Any more examples? What do you do if that happens to you? If you're at school, you can tell your teacher. If you're at home, you can tell a parent. Tell a grown-up. Have you or someone that you know ever been cyberbullied? My sister. Me. Tell us about that. She's been called lotion here. And what happened? She went to tell a parent. My, on Snapchat, on my phone, there was this girl saying her things, and I blocked her and told a grown up. This is why cyberbullying is not for tigers. Thank you, experts. And now we, we will hear for our devastated victims of the cyberbullying experiences. Thank you, Gabe. I have yet to recover from my horrible cyberbullying experience. It all started last night when I went to play on Roblox and a person on the game told me that I was no good and told me that I should quit. Roblox is my favorite game and I just can't believe that someone would be this mean. Well, Anna, what did you do when they said this? I did what every kid should do. I told my parents and they blocked that person from my game. They encouraged me to still play the game I love. And I played until it was homework time. Ugh. I'm so glad that you reported this harassment to your parents. Let's touch base with some more of our cyberbullying experts to see what else we can do to prevent cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is bullying online. Something to prevent that is saying nice things and not doing mean things on the internet. Thank you, experts. Now we will hear from our last devastated victim of their cyberbullying experience. Thank you, Gabe. My cyberbullying trauma began last week when I went to go check my recent Snapchat messages from my friends. Or, should I say, my so-called friends. I clicked on the very first message from one of my friends and she told me that I looked fat in my Snapchat story from the previous night. Can you believe her? Only a mean person calls someone fat in a general let alone online. Well Whitley, you have to tell the audience, what did you do when she said this? I immediately told my guardian, who then blocked my so-called friend from my Snapchat, and then called her mother to discuss what she had called me. Wait, 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 it sounded like you did the right thing by reporting this to an adult. Without reporting it to an adult, this harassment will keep on going. Great thinking, Whitley. Well, folks, you heard these tragic events right, right from Sangap Elementary. And remember, always report cyberbullying if you see it or experience it. It is not fair for you or anyone else. Cyberbullying is bullying online. One out of ten teenagers tell their parents about cyberbullying. Forty-four percent people get harassed online. People. Teenagers get called fat and stuff on social media. Bullying online leads to more bullying. S-T-O-P. Stop cyberbullying.